salutation to the being man, Rassi Moore McLean from the Ethiopian World Federation. Rest in Zion. Rastafari, greetings Addis Ababa. Ten a year still in Addis Ababa. Kasanji's man, Haria. Ten a year still in Arakilo, Tafari, Makana. Rise up, this is the Tata education. Come, let me rise up. Ross Seymour McLean, a well-known advocate for the return of priceless Ethiopian artifacts and hundreds of books and manuscripts of Ethiopian history. They went to Ethiopia on the 13th of April, 1868, and it was Easter Day, and then lit the church heavy, then burned down the capital city, and then took out every single thing that they can find. The Ethiopians were armed with their customary spears and bow and arrow. The British had over six million bullets, the latest Snyder repeating rifles, the latest artillery. They had elephants to transport the artillery. They had mules. They had all the latest equipment. The Ethiopians, they, in the own British record, them said they annihilated the Ethiopians because they were armed with spears. They, the British army, said they annihilated the Ethiopians. And all this can be found in the record, an official record was drawn up um, for the Secretary of State for War in 1870. The expedition to Ethiopia compiled for the Secretary of State for War. It's a two volume manuscript. It's got all the maps, it's got all the detail of how the army went to, the equipment that they used, what they did, and how they burned the capital city to the ground, how they looted the churches, and the property that was taken. It's all written down in the British official record. Rastafari, Selassie, Marcus Gavi, and his journey to the ancestors. When I would have a book creator, Rastimo, give him a step. He was also best known an activist for the recognition of land given by Emperor Haile Selassie to Jamaican Rasta men and women who wished to return to their spiritual homeland in Shashamani. Ross Seymour was also a regular campaigner who would attend most public events when Jamaican government ministers were visiting the UK pleading for the assistance to the Rastafarians who had set up home in Shashamani but were neglected by the Ethiopian government. I strongly feel that his campaign should continue and that all leaders of Africa have a duty and responsibility to look into the affairs of what had been stolen out of Africa and that the artifacts and books be returned. We, the people from the diaspora, also have a duty to continue with the works Russ Seymour has started. For his work is for our children's future and their spiritual and historical inheritance. Russ Seymour must be honoured for the work he has done. And I strongly feel that it is fitting that his name be mentioned in the Hall of Fame of great black heroes and sheroes. Amongst those many, many great ones who has fought for peace, equal rights, and justice. You can achieve in yourself, you man, just believe again at him with hard, hard work. You can achieve with education. You can achieve with no dedication. You can achieve in yourself, Empress, just believe me, tell them, sir. Russ Seymour McLean has left us with a legacy which has to be honoured and respected. Twenty twenty on the sixth of November, Russ Seymour McLean would have had his sixty fourth birthday. Let me tell you a story. About a last man who tried to create.